So this is the last problem I'm going to film for now. Um, I am probably going to start uh, editing, putting the videos together after this, and then uploading titles, uh, the whatever it's called, the uh, thumbnail, and all of that kind of stuff. And then I'm going to go to sleep because I've got to work later. I will try to get more solutions out at a later time. It probably won't include 14 for a great while. That one involves Euler's Toshin and I don't have that concept mastered yet. Even me, I still have things that I learn. The test pushed me to learn those and master things that I'm not as good at. Um, you might be able to find an Euler's Toshint solution and learn that concept yourself before I get a video up for it. Uh, but let's get to this problem here. It's kind of fun. There are real numbers x, y, h, and k that satisfy the system of equations here. What is the minimum possible value of h plus k? If you're like me, you look at this and you go, oh, I could add 9, add 9, I could add 16, add 16. We call that completing the square. You do it by cutting this number in half and then squaring it. And so you're going to get x minus 3 squared. If you don't understand, we're adding 9 and we're adding 9. And so you get x, plus, x minus 3 squared plus y minus 4 squared. For that one, I have to add 16, and you have to add 16, or subtract it from this side as well. And so you've got that, and you'll have equals h plus 25. Then you do the same thing on this one, and that's going to give you x minus 5 squared plus y. If you don't understand completing the square really quick, x squared minus 10x, cut that number in half, that's what goes right here. Then if you were to square this entire expression, you would get the 10x, but you would also get a 25, but that doesn't exist, so you have to add it to both sides. That's why it's called completing the square. Cut this four in half, you're at y plus two squared, you add four, and what do we say? 25, right? Add four and 25 you have k plus 29. And I look at this and I go, oh, um, well, what is the minimum possible value of h plus k? And it looks like we can get negative 54. Uh, no, maybe not, because you'd have to get uh, you know why? If you add this and this and this and this, you have four perfect squares. And over here you get h plus k plus 54. And so you say, well, if I could make all my perfect squares zero, then h plus core 4 could take on this role. But the problem with you thinking that is that x would need to be both 3 and 5 at the same time. That's not going to happen. That's why that's a trap answer, and I hope you didn't do it. So now what? Uh, so you look at this and you say, well, that was my first thought. And I just act, I just go. You run down that path, you come to this ending, and then you have to reason. But now we have to go back to the drawing board. So go back and look, what is the value of h plus k? And we'll get rid of all that. And we say, OK, minimum value h plus, wait, what if I just added these two equations? And that's what you should have done, or what you should do. There's nothing wrong with doing this. There's nothing wrong with taking a path that is a valid path of action. But when you get to the end of it, you need to quickly recover from, this didn't produce the fruit that I thought it would, or worse, you almost got tracked. So just go back up and look, and you go uh, 2x squared plus 2y squared minus 16x minus 4y equals h plus k. And so now we say what? We say 2x squared minus 16x. Uh, I don't want to divide by 2. I'm just going to write it outside. x squared minus 8x. We'll leave a blank spot. We'll put 2 times y squared minus 2y. And then we'll leave a blank spot. Look, equals, uh, getting sleepy. h plus k. All right. So now what? I'm going to have to... Complete the square here. You're cutting the negative 8 in half. You're adding 16, because that's the square of the negative 4. Then you have, you actually added 32, so you have to put a minus 32. 
Over here, you're adding one, because negative one cut in half squared is one, and now you have to add two. You added two to do that. You're just putting that one in there. It didn't exist. So you're gonna have to compensate by subtracting two. And so now what it will say is two times x minus four squared plus two times y minus one squared minus 34 needs to equal h plus k. Now we can make these perfect squares zero with x is four, y is one. They are both real numbers. What will h plus k equal? Negative 34. Answer choice C. Time to splice and edit. Hope you enjoyed the solution.